Greetings everyone. I'm Ambe Singh and today I have joined by Jonas Rapp for the second episode of the Power Platform Community Tool Series. In this episode, we are going to talk about how to install the XRM Toolbox, what are the prerequisites we need to consider beforehand. So let's move forward. Installing the XRM Toolbox is quite easy process. You have to make sure that you have a latest Microsoft.NET framework. It should be 4.6.2 and above available on your machine and a valid internet access to download the zip folder from the XRM Toolbox homepage. If required, you could change the file storage location related with the XRM Toolbox. We have two personas here, Max and Mia. They are the co-workers in the Contoso. So Mia had a doubt she need to work something with the XRM Toolbox, but she is not aware how to install it, how to download it and how to use it. And the Max says that wait a second, you will get it every your question answered in the demo by Jonas. Over to you. Okay, hi. I'll take over the screen and we'll show you how to do it. I just go to the browser. Where is it? Well, it's of course on the internet. That's there. There, of course. Just uh, just take a new window here. Where do we go? Well, XRM, I just started writing that and then it understands what I mean. Of course, I want to go to the XRM toolbox. And this site is uh, quite simple and uh, it has some information about which tools we have, how to download it and so on. And you can probably guess where you click right now. Of course, download the latest version. Just click that, it will download. So it will be coming in a zip file. It's not an installation or anything like that. I'll just get it like that. And now it's there, which means I will have to unpack it. and. It depends on your computer and uh, some other things. It, it might be so that you need to right click, set the properties and try to find if this is blocked. We saw that in very short on the slides that you have something, may have something here, here that says unblocked. You have to click that. In this case, I don't need to, I don't know why, but anyway. So from here, we can just go unzip everything so I right click, unclick all. Well, of course, I don't want to have it in a download folder. I'll just move it and put it in my tools. I have it there and extract it there. And then it takes half a minute to sort of unpack it. And now it's download. I will just go look to the tools. We find Excel Toolbox and open this one and there's a bunch of boring files but this is where we started actually i won't start with just double, double click it i will from the first step i will set task so i'll pin it to the taskbar when i just run this it will store it will store all files in some strange folder called like this is seed.users.myusername, app data, roaming, MS CRM tools, and then excellent toolbox. That's not very good way to use it. So that's what I do. When I have this here on, uh, on the task, I will start to go and right click this one and set the properties and we'll see, okay, this is how it started. And instead we'll say that We'll add something folder where it should store all the information. So I'll just add override path colon and then where should it be stored? Well, then I'll just to, to be simple, I can just put it in the tools, put it there, and then just say, okay, and now I will start Excel Toolbox. And now it's thinking and thinking and thinking about starting. There it comes. Here we will see the version, which should be the latest that's available. Uh, if you're using an older than this, go and update your XM toolbox. We should all say, I mean, the latest version is always the best. We shouldn't use an older version. And here we see the XM toolbox. I would say the first thing I do, because now it's there are a bunch of uh, different tools here, but they are all only those from Tangi to Saad. Well, he is, of course, the god, but I'll go to the tool library just to get something. And now the first time it uh, will take a bit of time where it's loading all the caches for these uh, tools. 
Okay, now it's done with the caching everything it needs. So here we see there are so many tools. There are very a lot many. They think it's like 300, 400 thousand, not thousand, 300, 400 tools. And of course, I will just search for something I need. Of course, I write my own name because that's well, I know that one. Well, that's my per favorite, that one and that one. And we, if we click on one, we can see more details here. But then from here, it's just to do the install. Yeah, install these four, three tools. And quite fast, it's done. And we will look here on the tools. I will, can always here just search for Jonas. And they are here. They are now installed in Nexion Toolbox. If I start to run it, want to connect them, let's, let's do that in the next uh, episode. So we will not start to do the connections right now, but this is a very short intro into how to download and installing the Excel Toolbox. Thank you again, Jonas, for the lovely demo. Please subscribe to the channel and like the, and share the videos within the community. Also provide your feedback in the comment section that what episode you would like to cover us in the next. Till that, have a great time and happy learning. Thank you so much again. See you next time.